Hey guys, so I definitely think that the investment in new card games like MetaZoo is uh, over. And the reason I think it is over is when we look at the previous investments, this is Nightfall. I assume these kits were $500. I don't know why, but I got this email a few days ago. And it is a copy and paste from Rudy's investment. And you can tell this is an investment because you have five different options. <laughs> you know, you can be an ultra investor and spend $8,200 on five Meta Zoo kits, which include one booster box. Uh, first, uh, They're all first edition. I don't even know if they're not first edition exist. You get the Rudy promo card, which is now almost worthless. I think it's like $20 or $30. At the time, people were saying it was worth $1,300. I went on various YouTube channels to confirm. I can confirm that the Nightfall first edition kit was $820. That's a lot of money. That is half a stimulus check. And if you wanted to give Rudy your entire stimulus check, you had that potential to do it as well. If you wanted to give Rudy basically a car, I'm at $8,200, guys, for a bunch of Meta Zoo, for f less than a case of Meta Zoo booster boxes. Nightfall is essentially worthless today. You know, I, I wish it wasn't the case, but a lot of people got hosed. And, you know, if this was my other channel, they would think it was a scam. Like, there's no other way to put it. In two years, I mean, you look at the prices on the booster boxes, look at the prices on the kits, look at the price of anything. I went on TCG Player, and everything is dirt cheap over there. It's actually cheaper than this. TCG Player is $55 at booster box. Again, I they're all first edition, right? I think I haven't really seen any non-first edition booster boxes. And then the Rudy promo is uh, less than $30, $20, something like that, $40. Um, it's not going to make up the delta between having paid $8,200 and then your five boxes. Man, I don't really know. I can kind of understand why the MetaZoo people like catch some collectibles. He's actually, he was actually one who bought this. He was one of the people who bought the Nightfall first edition thing. So he's kind of in deep. A lot of these people are in deep. They got to hope for like a mother effing miracle. Like, I'm not going to lie. They better hope for a miracle because these drops, I, I mean, I, I know Nightfall was a really, really bad drop. Uh, here he has a video proof. Nightfall is a pyramid scheme, and he has so much Nightfall, guys. The Friday Night Special Night, Meta Zoo Nightfall Halloween Evil 666 Rudy Case, Rudy Kit by the case. I mean... Yikes, is Nightfall undervalued? So when people have that playmat, uh, when people have that playmat, it actually is. So Nightfall is almost worthless today. These singles are worthless. A lot of things are not worth any money. But that playmat is kind of like how you know they got hosed. And they all got that playmat, man. They all got that playmat. And in my opinion, it's insanity. You know, it, it's... um. How much money, like, where did, I mean, these are not wealthy, and I've talked to many of these people, these are not incredibly wealthy individuals with a lot of disposable income, $8,200 is a lot of money for anybody, um, but to put that in Meta Zoo is just obnoxious, I mean, he's not giving you a discount, he's not giving you a good deal, he is, he is the market leader. He is the market leader. Um, these Rudy kits are just crazy. And then the promo card you get with it, like you can, I can buy one for thirty dollars now. Um, Nightfall is a pyramid scheme. Let me click on this. So this is, I mean, he must have made so much mon money from this man. He must have made so much money from this set. He's showing like a bunch of boxes. Bro showed all Pokemon boxes that would be worth a fortune right now. Laugh out loud. What are you doing? Is this dude really shipping individual cards in a box with booster boxes? Damn, that is easy to damage those singles. 
yeah, I mean, these Meta Zoo people flexing on the t Timmy's, this title won't age well. Correct, it didn't. You bought all of this? I like to see where Meta Zoo is next year because nobody really wants this stuff. First edition, yeah. But everyone knows anything first edition could raise in value. But what about unlimited print? That's where you, you're going to run into trouble. But hey, you never know. This is just messed up teasing us, those of us aren't patrons. Be lucky you're not a patron, man. So much product. How do you get these kits? Do you have to be a patron? Trash game. The whales be hoarding? Is Rudy, Rudy selling it all? Answer yes. I like how the artwork gives 90s Pokemon vibes. How much for a bundle do you ship to Australia? Rudy, can I buy one of these kits, please? This is giving me FOMO. What a mess. I told you Mike was going to fall apart under pressure, Rudy, and it's not going to get any bad, better. Practi practically 20% or more of the government employees are walking off the job. And that doesn't count the ones who are already left over the last 18 months and shipping is grinding to a halt. Donation. MetaZoo to the moon. These people are no longer around. They bought too much MetaZoo and now they are, um, yeah, yikes, man. Yikes. I mean, he must have sold, he must have sold like $10 million worth at $8,200 a buy. And he's showing these giant pyramids at 8200 for five boxes, he's got at least, yeah, he must have made like something like $20 million from this set, right? He's got his promos, his alpha investment, 666. Like even at that point in time, there just was no interest. You can see the videos, right? And these guys after like buying, like where are they now? Like besides catch them all collectibles, who now is a metal zoo, go metal winner. Like, where are these people now? Like, where are these people who spent $8,200 on this shit? Like, are they broke? Or, I mean, are they divorced? Did their wife, like, leave them? Like, this is just not... I mean, it's so sad, man. It's sad. But Rudy, I mean, he made a lot of money from these guys. I would be... If I were one of these guys, I would be very angry. I would be very angry because this is not acceptable. Like... How can you sell something for $8,200 that doesn't, it's not even worth $300 today? I've calculated the math with his promos, by the way. You can easily get a promo of his for $20, $30 in TCG Player eBay. And then Playmat. No one wants that Playmat. It has 666 in the Playmat. Like, no one wants to show that Playmat off. Like, it's a children's game, right? It's supposedly it's Pokemon. Has Pokemon ever used the number 666? I don't think so. I mean, this is bizarre beyond what I could imagine um, that five kits were being sold for $8,200 and people were buying them and keeping them as an investment. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, this product did not age well. This product is basically worth, to me, it's worth less. It is worth less. And if you bought it, are you not a little bit angry? That this guy showed you this investment at this amount of money and now it's worth zero? I would be.